What's up, Ninja Nerds? In this video today, we're gonna to be talking about how to test your blood glucose levels, utilizing a very awesome, very cool kit called the Kerasensin Plus Glucometer. This is an amazing glucometer that actually, we'll have a link down to the description box below. You guys can go check that out on Amazon, purchase one of these bad boys. I also suggest that one of the things that really goes well with this kit is what's called the Smart Log app. This allows for you to be able to track your blood sugar levels throughout the day and have some good trends. And that's very, very important for those patients who maybe struggle with their actual glucose levels, such as those who are pre-diabetic or diabetic. Let's actually talk about all the different components that come within this Kerasense N Plus glucometer kit. A couple different things. You have the Lancet devices. All right, these are important to deliver the actual skin prick. Then you have the, the actual device which you'll utilize with the Lancet. We also have the test strips which will collect the blood. And then we'll have our monitor which will give us the actual number that we need. So now that we know the different components here, let's actually show you how to measure your blood glucose level utilizing this Kerasense N Plus glucometer. All right, so let's take a look here at the Lancet device, a couple different components of it that we have to know. So the first thing that we have to take a look at here is you see all these numbers across the top. You'll see zero, one, two, three, all the way up to five. So this is important because this helps us to determine how uh, much the actual needle will plunge into the skin, how deep it will go. And so what we wanna do is for patients who are like thin skinned, you can see there's like a little kind of indicator there of where the number is. That's one, that'd be for like your thin skinned individuals. But for someone like me, who's got like some meaty digits, I probably would need like the higher one cause I have a thicker skin. So that'd be like a five. And so that indicator pointing on there would tell me that I'm on the five. So that's gonna be the first thing. The second thing that I wanna do is I wanna load my Lancet into this device. So you're just gonna go ahead and screw this portion here off. And then here's your lancet. Keep that little top piece on for right now. Okay, we're gonna load it in and then we're actually gonna take it off here in just a second. But one of the big things is once you screw this piece off, keep it nearby because we're gonna utilize it later, okay? Now that I have my lancet loaded, I have it uh, set to the appropriate depth that I wanted actually to deliver. The next thing that I need to do is I need to load it. So when I load it, I'm going to pull down on this button here. And when I pull down on this button here, that actually loads it. Now it's already loaded. If I wanted to determine that, what I could do is I could hit this little button here and that'll deliver the actual Lancet up through this little hole there on the top. What I'm gonna do is for right now, I'm just gonna load this bad boy and it's ready to go for whenever I need to actually deliver the skin prick. All right, let's go ahead and prep my finger now and get everything ready for that. All right, so let's go ahead next and get our actual glucometer device here, a monitor ready. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little test strips. You have like the little bars in there. I'm gonna insert this in here. So I kind of set this up. And the nice thing about this is it kind of turns the glucometer on for you, okay? So now I have this thing ready to roll. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prep my finger, deliver the skin prick, and I'm gonna go ahead and collect some blood on this to give me a number, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take, you know, just an alcohol prep here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just gonna pick this finger. It's just the quickest one that I can grab there. Okay, get it cleaned up. After I've done that, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Lancet device. Again, it's set to five. I have the trigger ready to roll. So once I hit that button, it's gonna deliver the actual uh, prick there, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead here, find a portion here I like the actual edge of the skin there, deliver a prick. Now one of the big things to be careful of is you don't have to squeeze a lot because like sometimes I can actually squeeze some of the interstitial fluid up. I'm just gonna give a, like, just a little push, nothing crazy, I got a little droplet there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my glucometer device, I'm gonna have it upright, and I'm gonna have this near, and I'm just gonna suck up a little bit of the blood into that area there. And in a couple seconds, it's gonna give me my number. Hopefully it's not too high. Okay, 101, that's not too bad, okay? So that's how I would be able to record my actual glucose levels. Now what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to go ahead, get everything kind of thrown away, get everything cleaned up, and then I'm gonna show you how to safely dispose of the Lancet from the Lancet device. Let's do that now. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to safely dispose of the Lancet from the Lancet device here, okay? So just make sure that button again is off. You've already delivered your, uh, your skin prick, so we don't wanna continue to accidentally stick yourself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna safely twist this piece off. Now you can see how the needle part of that is exposed. Remember I told you to keep that little portion nearby, that little blue top. You're just gonna to wanna to go ahead and stab that area there just to make sure that that portion, that sharp portion is not exposed. And then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna slowly push on this gray portion there 
to get the actual lancet out of the device. Now that I've done that, I can go ahead and throw that away. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk to you guys about some numbers that are really important to remember for normal, pre-diabetic, and diabetic patients. All right, engineers, so let's take a look at a very helpful chart from the CDC that gives us some particular numbers that tells us about those patients who would have a normal blood glucose level, those patients that would be more in the risk of pre-diabetes, and those that actually would be at risk of diabetes. Now, it's important to remember that this CareSense N plus glucometer does not test the A1C. So just remember that it will not give you an A1C number. But some of the things that it could tell you from this chart is it could tell you your fasting blood glucose level, whether that's normal, pre-diabetic, or in the diabetic range. It could tell you your random blood glucose level, whether it's in the normal, pre-diabetic, or diabetic range. And if you so desire to do something called an oral glucose tolerance test, it potentially could also give you your numbers, again, if you're in the normal, pre-diabetic, or diabetic range. Ninjas, I hope this made sense. I hope that you guys enjoy this. I hope that you now know how to test your blood glucose levels and I'm very, very pleased. Check out this CareSense M Plus glucometer kit. Check out that Smart Log app and please get these. If you guys want to check them out, go down in the description box below. We'll have a link to Amazon where you guys can check these out. All right, engineers, thank you, love you, and as always, until next time.